What's going on my people? Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. We're going to react to Erling Haaland antics against Arsenal. It was epic and don't forget to smash the like button if you love this kind of video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Erling Haaland is becoming the king of shithousery. And many fans don't have any problem with that because we've been saying for a while now that football is going soft, very soft indeed, that every push is a yellow card, uh, a push is a red card. We don't even know what football is all about because it's a physical game. People want to see a little bit of tension. People want to see that on the pitch nobody got killed nobody got injured and that's the most important let's watch this clip and we're, we're gonna comment together and react uh, there was a little bit of a tangle after the goal and perhaps we can shed some light on why that was here's Haaland with the ball in his hand oh, oh, no, oh no oh <laughs> no that's, that's not good it goes at Gabriel's head who's obviously <laughs> Been fighting like mad to try and keep them out, and then that happened from the restart as well. But you know, it's nice to see a bit of needle as well, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with it. There's a little bit of needle. You know what I mean? All right, so I kind of agree with Roy Keane. He used to be the king of shithousery, right? Everybody knows about it. Bad boy on the pitch and off the pitch. But he said it's not nice kicking somebody from the back that is very dangerous this is where your brain is and if somebody smash the ball behind you without you knowing it your system is not gonna react to to that action right so that is the most dangerous situation ever when somebody hit you from the back you didn't know so your body naturally didn't prepare to resist to that force so in that sense I kind of understand what Roy Keane say. Don't hit somebody from the back. I'm too no, you don't need that. You no, don't, you don't need want someone throwing the ball at the back of your head. I don't yeah. mind that. Bit. Yeah. Someone throwing the back yeah. of your head. You don't do that. Bit, oh, yeah, I don't mind that. Oh, yeah. I'm fine with this. Obviously. Look, do you feel this game has changed? Yeah, so this is, this is actually good because there's a physical and mental battle between Arsenal and Manchester City and Erling Haaland is representing that he's attacking Gabriel because Gabriel was all over him he been all over him since he joined the Premier League though so probably the biggest fight so you have to understand that it's gonna always be some shithousery between them but this also shows you how close Arsenal are getting to Manchester City because years ago they didn't even care because then they knew they were going to beat Arsenal so why even waste our energy from what we've seen today not just on the pitch as well but on the touchline there were moments as well between the two uh, coaching staffs coming together is this game becoming yeah good a real proper rivalry yeah, now that's what you like to see now you need that little bit of needle because <laughs> City no Arsenal are trying to trying to hunt them down and the more you dislike a team, there's always a bit of respect there. Yeah, that's that makes sense. The more you dislike the team, there is a little bit of respect. That means you consider that team as a serious threat. So Arsenal need to be happy about this because Manchester City can feel it. It's been for two seasons now. Arsenal are missing out on the first place for just a little bit, a little margin. So they can feel it and there is a lot of respect and that's why you see Manchester City being told by the manager to play also the mind game. Okay, attack them even mentally. And uh, no, I love seeing that. I, I think that, that adds to it. Adds of to course. The game. We obviously know the quality players on the pitch. A bit of needle, we've seen it a few times there. Love it. I've got to agree. I mean, of course, of course, uh, Roy is going to love it because he is the, sh the the king of shit shithousery. He used to fight from the tunnel <laughs> before even getting on the pitch. So he understands what it takes to win a game mentally. And remember, for the young audience watching, he 
literally ended Erling Haaland's dad career. Erling Haaland dad used to play for Manchester City. Roy Keane used to play for Manchester United. And they had a beef. All the time they fight on the pitch. One day, Roy Keane told him, listen, next game, I'm going to finish you. And he did. The next game, he broke his leg on purpose. And Roy Keane was suspended for more than eight games and fined heavily back then but Erling Haaland that uh Erling Haaland died that was almost the end of his career he continued to play a little bit in other clubs but you know what I mean like this guy used to beat people physically and mentally bad boy the real definition of bad boy Roy Keane and Patrick before which was everyone well, loves those to, moments. Used to try and bully me, Patrick. Just, uh, just about me, yeah, <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> We're starting to see signs of that again because of the. I mean, there was a little bit of frustration maybe in some of the players as well, and hunger and determination, and just the pride they want to do for the fans as well because they've come out here mm. in this rain and they've literally stopped, not stopped singing mm. and support their team for ten men. So, I mean, point point is, uh, I'm, I'm pleased with a point put it that way. Any any criticism for Erling Haaland in those moments? Yeah, so yeah, as as you can tell, uh, <laughs> Theo Walker just reminded uh, Keen Patrick Vieira and. Kid looks like I'm an innocent now because <laughs> he used to harass me and, and kind of blaming Patrick Vieira. But we all know that Kin is Kin and, you know, his reputation is bad boy all day long. And it's good because the fans who traveled to Manchester and almost won, almost got all three points. The last minute... It was a, a disaster, and it feels like a loss for for Arsenal. But you need also a little bit of that. You need a little bit that that is gonna encourage you even more. And Arteta need to be proud of himself because I saw another side of Mikel Arteta, which is defensive work. He can do the Guardiola, he can do the Moreno, he can combine all together to make one system. And that is very important because when he joined Arsenal, everybody said, oh, you used to pick up cones at training. You are number two. You are not good enough, blah, 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 blah. But now you see that even the master, Pep Guardiola, is afraid of his student. That tells you your level. My fear was that he's going to copy 100% what Pep Guardiola is doing. And that is not good. You have to bring your own touch. You learn from the master. And to be the man, you have to beat the man. And that's what Mikel Arteta has been doing. And I'm not going to be surprised if very soon Arteta finally managed to beat the master and win the Premier League title. Uh, well, the, the ball in the back of bed is not good, but all the needle stuff, and no, that's what you want. You know, he's up against two centre-halves who have had the better of him over the last couple of games. He scored today, he's happy. You know, that's the that's the difference, no? Yeah, well, the best way to, to shop people up is by scoring. Exactly. He done that today. All right, people, so let me know if you think Erling Haaland is overdoing because he came after the game to tell Arteta, be humble, be humble, in front of him. Arteta didn't say anything, but it was a fight. And he came to tell Gabriel Jesus, you have to, you know, he's told him to shut up or something, or F off, some, some, some colorful language. And he was getting on everybody. In the Arteta uh, stuff, Arteta himself got, got uh, some punches from Haaland punches quote and quote of course and everybody so do you think that he's overdoing it do you think that they're, they're gonna crack under pressure or you think this is football this is what's supposed to be on the pitch and don't be always soft so let me know in the comment section down below and let's keep the conversation going blessings